All right, thank you guys for being here. Uh, like Coach said, uh, from, uh, Coach at Stuart Mill, Minnesota, just got named head coach this week, so exciting time. It's been a busy week, uh, but excited to be here today to share our, our jet package uh, with you. Uh, been through the last seven years, uh, been offense coordinator uh, since my first year there, uh, coaching quarterbacks and wide receivers. Prior to that, I was down in North Carolina for three years, uh, just outside the Brown area. Prosper and play wide receiver and play football now for um, Coach Joe Blue and so it's a uh, cool experience. My first time to see that like I got my dad here, Ted Muller, who's uh, in the high school Hall of Fame, uh, and then Coach Woody here as well. So it's a cool moment to kind of share that this week with being named as my first uh, head coach in position. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, so our Tiger Jet package. Um, this is something that uh, has been a part of our uh, part of our offensive uh, playbook since I started. Uh, our offense has evolved a little bit over the last few years. We were, when I first started, almost a true kind of 10 personnel spread team. And over the last two years, um, we've evolved a little bit of our offense because we've had some really good running backs. And we've, so we've gotten more of some two back looks. Still a lot of spread principles, but some pro eye formations as well. So we kind of meshed that together with our jet back. We um, have the true jet back uh, look, but then we're going to combine that a lot with gap scheme runs. Um, and so we'll go through that here with you today. So we kind of start with our why. Uh, why do we include that uh, into, our, into our offense? And the big thing for us offensively is we want to force the defense to defend the entire field. And so we're going to stretch the defense both vertically and horizontally across the field uh, and make them really work side by side. Uh, we want to use speed athleticism to get to the edge and take advantage of what the defense gives us. So within that jet package, we have a lot of uh, variations of how we can block that scheme. Um, complementary plays off of that. So based upon how a defense is going to line up against us on a given week, uh, we can take advantage of what they're going to give us. We have enough in that package. We might not run everything on a given Friday night, uh, but we have enough that we can get to uh, depending on what they're, what they're going to do and how they're going to line up against us. Um, how we're going to use it, uh, again, we're, at, we're a multiple pro offense, so we'll run it both from shotgun and under center. So I got some clips of both so you can see how, how that looks. Um, we run out of a lot of different personnel groupings. Like I said, 10 personnel, 11 personnel have a single back look, as well as some 20 and 21 personnel when we get into our two back stuff, which is what we've been more more often these last uh, two years in this race. Um, and then the last thing, which is a really big point, I think, is uh, how do you practice that? Um, and so we'll have, one, we'll have a jet jet time uh, during our practice where we have a mesh with all of our running backs, receivers, quarterbacks in the center as well. But everybody in the spot, we get everybody a job, so everyone's involved. So whether that's the receivers running the jet, uh, our running backs, whatever their job is, if they're getting out the edge in the jet uh, scheme, or when we are fake our jet look and hand them to the back. Um, like I said, we run a lot of 20 personnel. So our H back where he's lined up what his job is on any given play. Uh, and then our extra guys are rotated through on the defensive side as well. So we have guys with bags. Uh, out on the edge uh, that our backs are getting to block in that scheme, or if we got, um, if our H back is working on picking up, you know, when we run our counter off of it or our ISO off of it, you know, what's that H back's job? Is he leaning up on backers and kicking out of that? So we got guys involved all over the place who are rotating through spots. And so making sure that that is planned out, scheduled, having a job for everybody, keeping everyone involved. We get a lot of reps that way. It's about a five, six minute period during practice, but we get a ton of reps with everyone working together. The other big part of all that is the timing with a quarterback. And so um, we'll get into this, but we, we're going to snap the ball when that jet back is at the outside leg of the tackle. So that's really important with our center and our quarterback and hitting their timing, making sure that snap is consistent to our, to our quarterback and getting that timed up so we're snapping the ball on time and everything smooth with our exchanges there. If you've got any questions while I'm going, just shoot your hand up or yell out at me and I'm happy to answer. Last piece then is kind of what plays are we going to include then. So we'll start with, we'll go with the jet stuff, but then we got complimentary runs with our jet motion across the field, play action pass. Uh, we got some screens that are incorporated into that. We'll get to that at the end. And then a couple special plays that we like to mix in there. So we try to protect ourselves. Um, if a team's, you know, going to get up the field and try to blow up our jet, uh, and they're really over committing and spinning and, and sliding with that jet motion, we got a lot of complimentary stuff we can get off of that. So we really make a uh, Make sure we do a good job in packaging things together that's going to protect ourselves and we're going to be able to attack the defense regardless of how we're going to play out.
So our success uh, over the past five years, most recently we ran uh, 259 plays with the jet motion for 1,800 yards, about seven yards a play, so uh, it's definitely very been, been very productive for us. Um, most common plays are jet and the counter that we run off of that. Um, jet's averaging seven and a half yards a carry in that time. Uh, and jet counter is a, a respectable five yards a carry there. Jet counter is probably been the most common play that we've ran. Uh, reason for that being is a couple of years ago, probably three, you know, back five, four, three years ago, um, Jet Counter was probably our best play in our offense. Teams are really open to the Jet hard, and it set up great angles for us to get to that back on the counter level, coming back the other way. We haven't run it that much these last two years because the teams all of a sudden are now scheming and trying to stop our counter, uh, and so that has opened up Jet for us the last two years, and that's been a little bit more explosive. So from year to year, it's going to change a little bit. Um, depending on, on what's working well for us, how teams choose to defend us. And so that, uh, that's what going to dictate the, the plays that have been, been the most successful for us. Our most explosive play is Jet ISO. And this has been huge for us the last few years. Once Jet count, once teams were stopping our counter, we went under center more and started handing off to our eye back after the Jet fake. Um, and we're averaging over 15 yards of carry. On that, on that Jedi so play. So we had a couple of 50, 60 yard touchdown runs this year off that Jedi so play. And we'll get to those and show you what that looks like. Um, we, we've called it out of 10 different formations. That sounds like a lot. They aren't completely different, but we, we say that it's a different formation if we offset our fullback uh, like in a plus to the strong side versus taking a you know, weak and offset to the weak side. That's two different formations for us. So they're going to look similar whether he's in a wing. He's an offset, right or left, strong and weak in the formation, whether we're in like a true spread or we're in a 21 personnel. So there's small variations, but we definitely get different looks, uh, making uh, so we can disguise some things versus the defense. And it's going to set us up better for angles, depending on how we line up in those formations and get to the plays that we want to get to. Um, the average scoring play is about 25 yards out, so it's very explosive. So the plays that we go for six points, um, they're big plays. And a lot of that's come off of our the Jedi so play and some of our Jedi play as well. All right, so we'll start out with kind of the play that everything is based off of, and that's our Jet. Um, I got I have two looks here, and most of these slides will be out of an under, give you an under center look if we run it from under center as well as a, uh, a shotgun one. <clears throat> and then versus kind of an even front and odd. Uh, the big thing, the big switch that we made this year in our blocking scheme was cheating our X receiver down and cracking the, that force defender um, to the play side. Uh, in the past, we were just sending our X receiver out to uh, number one here on the corner and we were leaving this H up on the pressure. That backer was flying up the field and blowing up our jet quite a bit. We weren't able to get there fast enough. Uh, so now we're going to line it down and get a good crack here. A lot of teams aren't real great with crack the place from their corners. This linebacker hasn't seen it coming. They're not communicating that. Um, so we were able to pop a couple jet runs this year off that crack look and sending our H out to the corner. We'll send it. We'll, uh, our, our super back then is going to have his own or an ISO fake to the front side, always out of our under center look to hold these inside backers. And so now really we just got to handle these two out on the edge. We asked our tackle to handle uh, the DN by himself. We've had some pretty athletic tackles. We will we drill that a lot any time. Uh, so we've been pretty good at, at you know, reaching that by himself. <coughs> Uh, quarterback, a uh, big thing here is uh, we are snapping the ball outside leg of the tackle again. That jet back is coming through, and then we're telling him to bubble back about a yard uh, on the snap of the football just so we get some clearance when our quarterback comes out from under center so that we're not clipping each other when he comes through. So we're telling him to bubble back one yard. All right, he's going to come through, get the ball, and then our quarterback is ta attacking for depth to that super back, and he's full speed down the hill. That also has helped our. our uh, Wide receivers, when they get this jet, we got a lot of track athletes on our team, and so we just almost like run the 200. And so they get that ball, and they start to turn that corner, and then they get a little bit of depth, and then we get off the field, and then we're just reading this block of this H back. If that corner is up the field, forcing that thing inside, he's just going to kick him out, and we'll turn it up. Uh, if that quarterback comes down inside, and we can pin him, uh, then we're getting up to the numbers. So he's anticipating trying to get wide up to those numbers, but if that corner's come hard up the field, then we'll just cut it out inside. So we got to close to that. Our um, out of shotgun, then it's a very similar scheme. Uh, we get one guy added to the mix now because we don't have this super back selling an ISO thing. So 
Um, we can now set our H back here to align with inside backer if he chooses to get out of the jet. We don't have as good of a, a run fake off of the jet when we give it out of the gun. So we add this guy to the equation. Uh, we're able to seal the edge here on our backer. Our super back is getting out to the corner. And our X is still cracking there on that, on that force defender that outside backer. Um, our offense line, we're just full zone, and then we're not really worried about the nose or the end here. They're not, if they're making the play, then we shouldn't be running. So uh, we're not worried about the backside, we're behind for backers and safeties. The big block, though, is our tackle here on that front side defense. As long as we get them sealed, we should have a pretty good play. Coach, yep. have you had any issues with, I guess, kind of the traffic that you're super back and your jet guy, especially when that guy is in traffic? Getting out here? Yeah. Uh, we've had good enough athletes here, it's not been a problem. We're, if we're snapping this, if you're snapping this at that outside leg of the tackle, it gives him a good three plus four yard head start. And we've had really good athletes here, and so he's been able to go. He's just going to get out and He's just sprinting to that corner right now. And, and we're saying that he's a bigger, stronger than this guy, and so he's going to try to run him over again. If he tries to come the field, we'll just kick him out and cut him inside. Yep. Are you asking your age to chip on the end before going up? We will. Well, well now, if he's really good, yep, that's an adjustment we'll make. We saw. Uh, uh, team last year had a, just a stud at a defensive end that could stop that play by himself. So we were, we were chipping here and helping 